In this section, we are going to defend just some basic cuts, and we will identify them and give them names. And the very first one we're going to defend is what we call a pop-out, which means an offensive player, in this case Justin, trying to get himself open on the perimeter without the benefit of a screen. So his, he is just trying to just pop out to the perimeter, and, and in this case, John is trying to defend him. And if the ball is on the top, up here, and this is the kind of cut, that, you know, you've got to say to yourself, there's going to be a lot of these kind of cuts in a game, and so if we, can identify, if we can identify when it happens and defend it correctly, we're going to be able to make a lot of changes on what they can do offensively. John's goal is to deny the offensive player the ball in a position where he can score with it. So, for example, if Justin's shooting range was right here, he'd have to deny him and make him catch the ball one step further out. If his shooting range is a three-point line, John would have to deny further, and if he catches out there too far, then he can go ahead and, and let him have it out there because he's, now he's out of his shooting range. There may be a time when you are trying to totally deny a player the ball at all, in which case the, the, this, this particular skill is going to be critical for for you in all cases as, as far as trying to de deny a pop-out. In this, the technique we're going to use here is to, one, get your stop sign out. That means that this hand right here is going to be out. Then you can look over your inside shoulder and you can see the ball and you still have vision or contact with the player. And as, Justice, as Justin goes out, John goes with him and he also increases the angle slightly. And as he comes back in, the angle decreases again, and therefore he is able to do the same job with fewer steps. The, the, the number of steps it requires him to go out and go out and increase the, the distance between them allows him to do this in fewer steps than if he stayed right chest to chest with the offensive player. It, it, well, here's what I'm talking about. If he stays right chest to chest with him and tries to do this, this is an offensive player's advantage because he can not only feel the defender and use him to get away from him, but he also has to react at the same exact speed. The defender has to react at the same exact speed as the offensive player. Go ahead and just... just about three-quarter speed go out there. See, right on his chest. That's, that's much harder than this. He come on back in. And this time, as he goes out, John's going to increase the angle, go, and pop out. And what has happened is, John's still, John is still in a position to deny the ball because his hand is still in a direct line with the direction the ball is going to go. And if the ball is going to get there, it's got to go down or it's got to go up, which gives John a chance to, to get his clothes out with a lot more, uh, with a lot more time. All right. And what we're going to have the offensive player do in this particular drill is come out and take three check breaks, which means goes out, come back, go out, come back, go out, and come back, and stop. And then the next defender will come in against the next offensive player. In this particular case, uh, we'll have the whites go on offense and then the blues go on defense. If you're doing it with a team, you'd simply just have them rotate through, and the next time they come through, their partner, the one that was on defense, is now on offense. And you could do it on both sides of the court since they're not crossing over the center line of the court. So if the ball was here, your coach could stand up here, or you could simply just put the ball down. And all you're trying to do is just say, all we're working on is footwork and technique, and all I want to see is, can I, can I as the passer, does this look easy or not? And in this particular case, we're going to deny all the way to the three-point line, and after the three-point line, you can go ahead and let him go off. Okay, you can go ahead and, you can go ahead and, and not worry about denying any, more, any further than that. All right, ready, and go. One. All the way back in, hard cut. Two. Next player's be ready to come on out, and three. And he goes, he's gonna go three check breaks, ready to go, stop sign out, boom, one, two, hard cuts, three, good job, Justice, and back in, next, next defenders come on out. Next pair, and go, stop sign out, jump Curtis, feet wide, good job, stop sign out, the bigger you are, the more you gotta work on your feet, good job, well done, back in.